Who's telling the story? Any story is different depending on who tells it. Not only that, but some narrators are more reliable than others. Why would an author have a narrator tell you things that can't be trusted? Check out this video to find out. Accessibility. Every story is told from someone's point of view. Was Robin Hood a good guy? Not if his story is told by the nobleman he robbed. Writers choose who tells a narrative. The story wouldn't be the same if it were told from a different character's perspective. Robin Hood might say, everything I do is for the good of the people. If the story is told from the perspective of the angry nobleman, the reader gets a different perspective. Characters with a limited perspective are unreliable narrators. Their perspectives might be different from other characters or the author and be shaded by personal bias. Before deciding whether the narrator is reliable, readers have to carefully consider the narrator's point of view. Every story is told from someone's point of view. It's up to the readers to gather evidence, discuss, and decide which characters are reliable. Can you trust this narrator? When someone tells a story, he or she may be honest and correct, or honest but mistaken, or dishonest. Explore this video to learn how authors use point of view and narrator reliability to guide readers' experience of a narrative. Accessibility Hello, Lewis here. I'm investigating different books to learn about literary points of view. Point of view in literature refers to the perspective through which a reader experiences a story. Point of view determines what you, as a reader, are able to see, hear, and learn about the narrative. Are you seeing things from my perspective? Or are you seeing me from outside? That depends on your point of view. An author will choose the point of view that best delivers his or her type of story to the reader. But be careful, not everything you learn from a narrator is true. Sometimes narrators can be unreliable. Unreliable narrators are narrators who purposely mislead you or don't give you all of the information. This is a literary technique that forces a reader to question what is real or true. You, as a reader, have to decide if a narrator is reliable. Let's talk about the three major points of view, where you might find them, and where unreliable narrators are most likely to occur. The three major literary points of view are first person, second person, and third person. A first person point of view is told from the perspective of one person using self referencing pronouns like I, me, and my. First person is popular in memoirs, personal essays, and some fiction. A first person narrator directly shows the author's or a character's perspective. Just like a real person, a first person narrator might not always tell the whole truth. Unreliable narrators are most common in a first person point of view. Here is an example of first person. A second-person point of view speaks directly to the reader or character using the pronoun you. Second-person narration is common in self-help books, instruction manuals, and choose-your-own-adventure books. Second-person is rarely used in mainstream fiction, but there are a few novels that use it. Here is an example of second-person. A third-person point of view is told from an outside perspective. Where a first person looks through a character's eyes, a third-person point of view watches from above. In fiction, the third-person point of view 
uses names and pronouns such as he, she, and they. In academic essays, third person is often required and uses phrases like, one might say, in place of the first person, I think. Here are two examples of third person. Now you know the three major literary points of view. Pay attention to which point of view an author chooses and think about why the author made that choice. Different perspectives show different parts of a story. Point of view can help you decide what an author wanted you to know and what he or she didn't. Key concept. Authors use point of view, first person and third person, to control how the reader experiences the events of a story. Authors also control whether a narrator is reliable or unreliable. Let's take a closer look at this. Begin by reviewing some keywords. Unreliable. First person point of view. Example. Here's an example of a first person narrator. I wanted to play basketball, but I didn't make the team. The coach encouraged me to do more running, so I joined a cross-country running club and discovered I loved running. I never went back to basketball. Imagine someone describing what he can see through a telescope, but his view is limited to only what he sees through the telescope. Example. Here is an example of a limited narrator. Notice how the narrator knows Jenny's thoughts, but not anyone else's. Jenny's mouth curved into an exhausted smile. She did it. That was her best time all season, and the big race was coming up on Saturday. Wiping sweat out of her eyes, Jenny saw her coach hurrying over. Omniscient means knowing everything. Here's an example of an omniscient narrator. Notice how the narrator reveals the thinking of both the coach and the runner. Coach Shannon checked her stopwatch. Jenny ran her best time so far, but the coach was worried. Was the injury really healed this time? Jenny took a long drink of water and began to stretch. Her sore hamstring hadn't bothered her today, but Jenny wasn't taking any chances. Third person point of view. Here's an example of a third person narrator. Twins Valeria and Dolores ran in lots of cross country meets, but this was something new, their first triathlon. Dolores was a stronger cyclist than Valeria, but she hated the water. Valeria loved swimming and she was confident this was where she would take the lead. This first triathlon would be very interesting. Reliable means trustworthy. When Jackson was nine, he was practicing battling in the front yard with some friends. When it was his turn to hit, I'm sorry, batting. Uh, when it was his turn to hit, he accidentally let go of the bat and it went sailing through the front window. Jackson never admitted responsibility for breaking the window, and to this day he claims he is innocent. This narrator is reliable. He is telling the truth and does not offer any personal opinion about the situation. You cannot trust or depend on an unreliable person. I may be the the baseball fan in the family, but that does, doesn't mean I'm the only one who broke the window. I, I'm, it doesn't mean I'm the one who broke the window. I returned home from school and there was a bat just sitting in the middle of the floor and glass was everywhere. I even tried to clean up. Why would I help clean up if I was guilty? This narrator is unreliable. He doesn't want to admit that he broke a window because he wants to avoid being punished.